I can't understand the sovereignty of God. Wait, by pink can't even pink? comprehend okay. it. Wait, my dad and my grandfather are called the Pink Book because it's the this insane book on God's sovereignty okay. by this guy named Pink. Oh, the, okay. I thought you were like, I was like, Pink is the music artist. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> sovereignty of God, huh, James? No, no, seriously, Frankie. No, I believe you. It'll mess you up. So you can't say that I'm going to make you stumble if I've read that book. Josh, please. But now I can do that too, you know. Making me stumble? No, no, no. I'm going to do... Make James stumble? No, I'm going to do your half of your your life video. Oh. I'm going to film you while you're filming. That's us. completely fine with me. Okay. Completely fine. Another that smartphone. Where's really? the vodka, James? Freezer? What do you mean, where vodka should be? Why? Because of Russians? You don't put hard alcohol in the fridge, Frankie. Lesson number one. Sorry, I don't drink. Bachelor. I don't drink that much, right, Mrs. Kemp? I mean. <laughs> oh my God! Don't. Lie. I try to keep. Terrible. I try to keep James on the up and up. <laughs> I'm 24. <laughs> I can drink. <laughs> I can keep vodka in my fridge. <laughs> that's about what I did. Okay. Alex was telling me about how that's like good vodka. Sky. Yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff. Your buddy Alex is fantastic. He's a people pleaser. He'll make you think that. Yeah. Oh, I picked that up. This is personal. This is the thing, this, no, I can't say this with the camera. Yeah, you can. He's no. Alex. He doesn't like you want to talk to him about him because he gets all defensive. That's true. I'd like to see where you get, do you guys have your heat moments? Me and Alex. Have yeah. Mo like, you guys almost have exclusively over my sister, though. Have, who else has clashed? Me and Tyler. Yeah, oh, yeah. Remember, I think I told you, but, like, yeah. was it last summer or two summers ago that you guys just two didn't summers. talk? Two I was yeah, like, you told me about that. I had to hang out with you guys individually. Yeah, have you, are you... I don't know. Uh, even if it's like small, it's just a conversation. Had me and you ever? Uh, in high school, TK and I like, but that's like when we first started becoming friends, because he didn't really like, under I guess understand me. See, the, well, and this is the thing is that me and Dude, Alex just so constantly. Read. That's I have conversations with people about that. Me no and way. Alex just constantly disappointed. Just Marcus. Well, that's good. I don't want anybody to read me. Your heart is except my mom. TK can read me, but like, good though. TK can. Well, that's the thing is that me and Alex constantly disappoint Frankie. So yeah, they ne will Frankie. never live up to my standards. I look up to TK. I look down on both Alex and James, especially Alex. I, but I don't look up to Frankie. Alex looks up to Frankie though, and up to me. So if only you had met me like two and a half years ago. I'd look up to you. I really look down on me. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, if you'd seen me like, three years ago. <laughs> I consider myself equal to Frankie, that we both, because we're both like equally disappointed with the other person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not so aggressive, so I never actually say it. That's so Frankie, hysterical. But... <laughs> I love that, James. <laughs> we're equally disappointed with each other. We're equally matched. Well, we both know what the other person really could be. We're disappointed when we see them just like. Oh, you think I, f I fail all the time? Myself? I fail myself. Well, I think you feel yourself it's part, all the time. It's partly because we're oh, completely different communication we and love languages. Gonna, so, uh, that's true. Are we gonna open the can. What do you mean? That's where it like all comes from. Because I never get anything done, and Frankie always gets stuff done. I don't know Does about he? That. I don't know about that. Explain. No, I guess no. It's just me and Frankie. We we don't really like make fun of we each just, other's, of each other's failings, but it's not like I don't know. I I just said that. I don't I don't really think because again, me and Frankie, me and Frankie are constantly just saying. For no reason. <laughs> he definitely does that. Yeah, one, I do it right, too. Josh, you don't know that, Josh. <laughs> yeah. This would be great. I think it's back. more that you're constantly disappointed in me and I'm constantly disappointed in myself. So I don't really like. <laughs> I, mean. I think that's I think that's close to the truth. That's interesting. Maybe that's true. Maybe I don't like that you're disappointed in people. <laughs> oh, is that <laughs> it? Maybe that's good. I mean, who am I to judge? Right. Right? Well, I mean. I mean. Yes. <laughs> Frankie, who's disappointed in me, and me, who's disappointed in me, so. Oh. Are you disappointed in me, Josh? And you? Yeah. No. Nobody gets disappointed in anybody else except you, Frankie. Oh, yeah. yeah. The only right. time I was ever disappointed in you, well, it's because I didn't know you, but you were just taking a chance because you were joking, but you didn't care to think that if I knew you were joking or not, but you were taking the chance based on how you perceived who I was. You so you were okay seems because seems I now. knew you were joking? <laughs> when you said the whole like... Friends thing? Yeah. I, I wasn't joking. Friends and acquaintances you mean? 
That makes me disappointed. Is that what he's talking about? That's okay. Friends. I think it's. I think it's providential. That you would, because oh, you would, you should know that if you openly say that to someone you barely know, that they're gonna take you as the most stuck up. I know. That's why I don't want to tell ever. you guys. That's why I don't want to tell you guys. But that's what I'm saying is you told me because you assumed that I wasn't gonna take it that way. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I can't hold it against you. Ah, uh, fair enough. Because I took it as a compliment, the fact that you knew that you could tell me, and that I would react correctly, even though I still gave you crap for it. That's deep, Josh. That's deep. Because you made an assumption that you could say that without worrying about it. Because if you. You were thinking about it deeper, way deeper than the I was. The wrong Josh. person. Well, that's also because my personality. Type. If you said it to the wrong person, they would think you're the most pretentious. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Piece of crap ever. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Like, I'm assuming Marcus, deep down, Larry Flares, thought you were pretty pretentious for saying that. Oh no, at work, he didn't even know us, and he's like, we're like trying to get him to come on a movie shoot because he's into film, and there's good banter, so we're like, hey, he seems like a cool guy. So we're making an effort. I to think like be a I was to him. I was way more comfortable with Josh than I was with Marcus. We were making an effort to banter, like. To, Sure. To bridge the gap, yes. and he's like, he th like we come across as desperate because we're being so <laughs> nice, like hey, you should come, like right, like yeah, he like makes you desperate look. losers that want a friend. He's like, whoa, 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 like just so you know, like you know, you're like we're coming on pretty strong, and he's like, I don't have to make friends. They just. Oh, <laughs> it's like yes. He just said it, as, you know. <laughs> it's like if you said that a different group of guys like come to me, off, like, just <laughs> flock to like, me. Like, like you know what? Frankie's a man of honesty. There you go. <laughs> but it says it like it is. I guess he assumed that we wouldn't take it that way. I guess so. Huh? I mean, at that point, I didn't even know you knew Jesus. That's why I was like... I don't believe that, Josh. I think we were way past that. <laughs> yeah, no, well, I knew there was something about you, but it was like, still. I guess we didn't really get talking about... It was a jump about, on your part. Our spiritual... Spiritual... spiritual out, about relationship with Christ until after peak season. Yeah. We were in that J can, talking about, like, missions and... Well, yeah, because... Well, brought us together, sure. You got a shirt that said you were on a mission trip. I did? Yeah. And I asked about it. Oh. You advertised that you were of a faith. I didn't know what it was. You could have been some... That's politically incorrect. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have invoked my religion on you. Then don't wear that shirt. That mission no, 51 shirt or whatever it is. Oh, yeah, that's right. You wear that all the time there. Fit mission 51, James. Good times. But... To me, that could have been, you could have been Mormon or Jehovah Wit Jehovah's oh, Witness or... Frankie, that's really awkward. So I had to find out because Marcus thought you were gay. Did he really? Yeah. That's fantastic. Because he was like, yeah, I'd bring up chicks and we, I'd, he's like, I'd talk about like things, you know, in a less than normal fashion, a little more vulgar. And he didn't seem to respond. Mm. So that's what he thought. What do you think about that, James? Interesting. So then, this is when we're a non-Christian. So then I was like, well, he's got the Mission 51 shirt, so he's not gay. <laughs> and, but he could be some whack job religion offshoot off of Christianity, uh -huh. so I gotta find out. Could be. <laughs> you could be, Frankie. We don't even know. I mean, we'd still love you. You can't, man. Should we get back to the American? The ladies. I'm down. They took my heart. Let's get back to George Clooney's silent masculinity. Full hard. Full yeah. hard for the ladies. Jeez, dude. And the, well, I guess I guess if you're a boy, you just grow up with women I mean, topless all the time if you live over there. Yeah. No, like, okay, because when I interviewed for that, he was like, look, so we work around the Balkans beaches, and there are just these new beaches. So everywhere along the streets and the restaurants, we're all just these gorgeous Greek women with flowing, wavy, raven hair and these giant, voluptuous breasts and these perfect olive skin. James. Perfect hourglass bodies. Are you going to be able to deal with that? Are you going to be able to be in the spirit and focus on your task? I'm just like, what kind of a question is that? Like, I mean, 
you know my age, like, if I, can I, am I supposed to lie and say, it's, I'm an Ameri it's not going to affect me. I'm an American, like, come on, like, we don't live in that society, so yeah. So he's like, he's like, I'm used to, I've, I've had my share of so I'm, it's nothing new. <laughs> well then. I would not have been able to do that. Yeah. I'll tell you what. So I told him, I told him, he's like, I've had missionaries come out here and they'll get some chick pregnant and that's that, so. Yeah. I that's think I would. I remember there was one teacher, and it was. I, I remember he was actually doing a good job of not making it very awkward. It worth me was talking about how, I think it was a it was a men's devotional thing, and he was saying how there's like two different kinds of ways the brain processes with like, um, like sexuality, and like one kind looks at women, like, prefer like you you can kind of prefer either like the, um, the kind of the the separation of it, like more the idea of that okay. or people in the real world okay. and so like and he was he was talking about that how like really like there are guys who like would never watch porn because they don't get it but like a nude beach would be like oh my god like the worst thing possible for them and there are other guys who are like the idea the, the, like keeping it non-personal like that is like much easier for them and they they're way okay. more drawn to that whereas like women in the real world like it's not really oh, that's interesting interesting yeah. that is interesting 